In this video, we will discuss about the hormones present in animals. So, what are hormones? Hormones are the chemicals produced in the bodies of living organisms that regulate the growth and development. They are secreted by the endocrine gland and poured directly into the bloodstream. Hormones are secreted in small amount and have a specific target site of action. This target organ or tissue have specific molecules on their surface that enable them to recognize the specific hormone. Endocrine gland are the organ that produce or secrete the chemicals called hormone and pour them into the bloodstream as they do not have any duct. So how do the hormone transmitted in the body? Here an example is given. If a squirrel is placed in a scary situation, if a squirrel is placed in a scary situation, their bodies have to prepare for either fighting or running away. Both are very complicated activities that will use a great deal of energy in controlling or control way. Many different tissue types will be used and their activities integrated together in this action. The two activities fighting or running are quite different from one another so here is a situation in which some common preparation can be usefully made in the body if the body design in the squirrel produce electrical impulse via a nerve cell the range of the tissue instructed to prepare for coming activity would be limited on the other hand if a chemical signal were to be sent as well it would reach all the cells of the body and provide the widening ranging changes which is needed to the body. This is done in many animals including human being. Using a hormone called the adrenaline. This is secreted from the adrenaline gland as shown in the figure 7.7. .7. This gland are located near the kidney or adjacent to the kidney which are yellowish in color. This gland secretes several hormones, one of which is adrenaline, also called as emergency hormone or the stress hormone. It prepares us to face the challenges or the risky situation like being chased or threatened by a dog or any high physical or mental performance. Such activities make it necessary for the organ like the heart and the lungs to increase their output. As a result, the heart beat faster, resulting in the supply of more oxygen to our muscle. The blood to the digestive system and skin is reduced due to the contraction of the muscle around small arteries in this organ. This divert the blood to our skeletal muscle. The breathing rate also increases because of the contraction of the diaphragm and the rib muscle. All this response together enable the animal body to be ready to deal with the situation. The second hormone is the thyroxine hormone. The thyroid gland secretes the hormone thyroxine. The thyroid gland is made up of two lobes located on either side of trachea which is connected to a connective tissue. It regulates the metabolism of protein, fat and carbohydrate in the body. Thyroxine requires iodine for its formation. Hence, if there is less iodine in the body, then the thyroid gland enlarges in an attempt to accumulate more iodine. The swollen condition of the gland make a person's throat look enlarged or swollen. This condition is called the goiter. Therefore, one is advised to take iodized salt in order to prevent such a situation. Iodine is richly present in a seafood. Sometimes we come across a people who are either very short called as a dwarf or a extremely tall called the giant. Have you ever wondered how this happened? This happened because of the growth hormone. Growth hormone is one of the hormones secreted by a pituitary gland. As its name indicates, the growth hormone regulates the growth and development of the body. If there is a deficiency of this hormone in childhood, it leads to dwarfism. As shown in the figure, 
pituitary gland is attached to the hypothalamus with the help of the stalk and hence in is in communication with the hypothalamus over secretion of this hormone lead to xanthism and the under secretion result in dwarfism you must have noticed many dramatic changes in your appearance as well as that of your friend of the same age group these changes associated with the puberty and are because of the secretion of testosterone in male and estrogen in case of female testes are also known as the gonad of the male and have a specialized cell that produces a hormone testosterone this hormone help in the development of mustache development of the voice box increase the muscle mass and etc and estrogen present in case of the female help in the development of or the widening of the pelvic girdle and etc so next hormone is the pancreas the pancreas is located just below the stomach on the left side of the abdomen the pancreas is a composite gland as it secrete enzyme as well as the hormone the posterior part of this gland which is close to the spleen has a endocrine role glucagon raises the blood sugar level when it goes down while insulin lower the blood sugar level when it goes up hence both the hormone help in the maintaining the blood sugar level which is very important for the functioning of the body if the pancreas does not secrete insulin in the right amount the blood sugar level of the affected individual remain high and this condition is called the diabetes such an individual has to take insulin injection to maintain the blood sugar level so these are some important hormones which are present in case of animals so here we have completed the second chapter of biology that is control and coordination you have to write all the in text question answer and the exercise one on your respective notebooks that's all for today's video thank you